So uh, I will immediately hand over to uh, Professor Tumai from the MRC in Gambia, who kindly have accepted to summarize uh, the discussion and the recommendations uh, from this, I think, very interesting meeting. And I can also say from the side of the Commission that we are very pleased to see the high-level representation uh, at uh, this meeting. So, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank the three speakers for such an excellent summary of their, of their intentions. The only reason I was asked to, to do this is because uh, um, I'm not Johnny Japong, I'm not from Ghana, but the only reason I'm here is from Ghana, and therefore I've got to bear the brunt of Ghanaian uh, <laughs> legacy. So that's where we are. Um, the um, medical writer was summarizing things for us, and he's going to put this up uh, as um, uh, uh, for all, all of us to be able to read. Whilst he's doing that, I would... Uh, can you see what's Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he, you can increase it slightly. Whilst he's doing that, I as well start off with the speakers summarizing what the three speakers have said to us um, uh, earlier uh, uh, today. I mean, it is quite clear that um, NEPAD, AU, WHO are all very supportive of these initiatives. They've all started off by uh, defining their roles in Africa and making sure that it it's, it's, it's certainly it's almost the same or uh, dovetails with EDCTP wishes. Uh, they have outlined the several things they've done and they've also committed to give, providing uh, EDCTP with the necessary support that it means. Of key importance and relevance to this is the fact that WHO is well positioned in all the African countries and can therefore speak as a spokesperson on behalf of, 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 of EDC to the relevant African governments. And it strikes me to say at this juncture what some uh, a minister said here this morning, that he would take this up to the cabinet level where decisions are made and it also tell this at the WAHO meetings where again decisions are made. I think one of things is not enough but to make sure that this becomes an agenda item in all these institutions and the other regional um, African um, uh, economic commissions might, 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 might want to do so. I think we must focus on what this meeting is all about. In a summary, this meeting is all about how African governments can show their commitment and, uh, if, um, for lack of another word, dedication to the achievements of the EDCTP and how they can strengthen EDCTP's uh, goal and vision for, 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 for the continent. It is quite clear that we are divided on this. Um, uh, one group believes that uh, national um, uh, um, governments, national countries, individual countries should should subscribe uh, as they wish. But I, was, I just want to remind you that we cannot be more than 19 individual African countries because there are 16 um, uh, countries in the, EDC, in the European Union involved in this with three uh, allied representatives. So we need to, to work out a modality by which African uh, countries, apart from pockets, apart from those with deep pockets, could, uh, could get involved in this, in this, in this, in this forum. Uh, the other one, of course, is regional representative, and, um, and uh, that again, I would like to quote Asan Mishinda here, who says, these things have been put in place, but uh, really, and, uh, and endorsed, but really playing the roles that they're supposed to play has been a major problem. There I say at this juncture that perhaps a different approach might help with this. And uh, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I have the microphone for now. And perhaps, <laughs> uh, perhaps the, um, uh, this is where the high representative could play a key role by visiting and taking part in the meetings of these economic groupings and trying to sell, if not already sold, the, 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 the desire for them to become much more proactive um, rather than anything else. It will be... Um, good if that's done because as I as we said earlier on today and we all agreed the diseases are not um, uh, um, 
um, different in our different um, countries within the sub-region. The key problems, particularly diseases we're interested in here, the NIDs, TB, HIV, AIDS, and malaria, remain rampant and uh, continue to cause a devastating effect to our populations. So getting together uh, uh, into groupings would only strengthen our efforts to combat these diseases. Someone earlier said today, and I fully agree, that uh, there is no reason why we cannot have um, national governments involved and also regional governments involved in this. And we may decide that that's the way forward, uh, at, least, at least for the onset of, of things. The, 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 the one concession that we all should be prepared to make is to find a way forward in which African governments would be involved, African governments had, and African governments take part in the decision-making process, in the strategy, and in the policy that comes out of it. NEPAD, WHO, and AU are waiting to help us uh, translate these findings and to move from research findings in particular into, uh, into policy and practice. I have tried to summarize this in five minutes to give the opportunity for a high-level delegation to get themselves ready to meet the Prime Minister of, of, of Senegal. Um, I hope um, I have made um, um, a conclusion of, of, of what happened, what presentations were made today. Thank you very much for, for, for listening. Thank you very much, and I think you summarized very well uh, the discussion of uh, today. And uh, before I hand over to uh, um, Professor Hannah who, who is, uh, as you know from the introduction this morning, is uh, chairing the EDCTP General Assembly, I also want to thank all of you for coming, for participating in the discussion. And I'm sure for the next 10 years, we will see really uh, between uh, Europe and Africa in EDCTP. So, Hannah, the floor is you for closing the session and the meeting. Thank you very much. I'd like to say that um, it's been a, a pleasure to listen to the deliberations and to uh, listen to uh, the commitments and the different ideas of how to continue with uh, uh, with committing to um, uh, EDCTP uh, in a equitable uh, way uh, within the the region. I think that uh, the various levels that were uh, presented uh, of the national level and the regional and the continental level. Uh, are, as was said by others, not mutually exclusive. But it is uh, uh, particularly uh, exciting to hear uh, nations saying they uh, want to contribute both in kind and in cash for, uh, uh, towards EDCTP. And again, another thing that was said, which is uh, relevant to, to mention, is the fact that um, um, having regional uh, representation does not uh, preclude that there, can, there must be, and there, it is a, a good thing to have national uh, uh, contributions uh, as well. So I think we need to, uh, from what I, we have heard, here it is clear that uh, we need to move forward on the uh, idea of uh, national level financial commitments and um, I mean at, at the moment we have heard a, a few countries say this and of course if we come to the 46 countries uh, then we would uh, have to uh, reevaluate the matter but at the moment perhaps it's best to start where we are. It's also been clear that there is a need for continued discussion uh, regarding representation and, and uh, 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 groupings for, for uh, taking part in the governance structure of EDCTP. And uh, I trust from the discussions that this, um, this, this, this is going to continue. And of course, at the at the continental level, um, uh, we we there are 
it's very essential that there is also involvement and 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 participation how that participation will be needs also to have uh, more more discussion and and, uh, and more thoughts but it is uh, Come, leaving here with the, the level of commitment that has been made here is, uh, to me, extremely um, exciting and uh, gratifying. And so I'd like to thank you all who took the time to come here uh, to this important meeting. And uh, we look forward to um, uh, an even closer uh, engagement of uh, African uh, countries, or, or re representation within the General uh, uh, Assembly of the EDCTP2. So on this juncture, I'd like to wish you all a safe journey back to where you came, you came from, and uh, we look forward to our continued um, uh, engagement. Thank you.